Could Chris Harrison be the next Bachelor? Hey, I'm Denny Director with ET Now. We asked the hosts after the men tell all. I would, I would, I believe in the show. Um, the only problem is I wouldn't be good on the show now. Uh, what? Because I'm the host of the show and I produce on the show. I know exactly what we're producing right now. Would it, it would be hard, and you really have to. I know it sounds silly, but you have to have a little bit of innocence and naivete about just walking in and really letting go. Um, and I wouldn't. I would be thinking about: Is this a good scene? Or where is it going to fit in the show? And is are we getting what we need? As the Bachelor and Bachelorette, you get to go on some incredible dates. But is there one that Bachelorette Andy didn't get to go on? I wish we would have done like a South African safari. That's always been a dream of mine, definitely on my bucket list. Um, I don't know how feasible that would be. You know, I'm sure some of the guys would have jumped off into the wild or something crazy, but yeah, South African safari would have been nice. So that didn't work out, but does she have any regrets? Obviously, one of the bigger regrets is the conversation with Eric. Do you feel like you've been comfortable and, and natural the whole time? Am I comfortable and natural all the time? Not a chance. But do I work my ass off and stay up late so that everyone knows that I'm here for them? Yeah, I do. You have no idea what it takes. You have no idea how exhausted I am. You have no clue how it is to look at people in the face and send them home. You have no idea. And so for you to sit here and tell me that I have a poker face is so offensive. It's the final moments Andy shared with contestant Eric Hill, who passed away shortly after leaving this season. That's been played out. I think it's, you know, obviously that's a huge regret of mine. While her last conversation with Eric stood out, she said she was proud of how the show handled his passing. I know people have their opinions on how the Eric situation was handled. You know, as far as how we handled, you know, the death of Eric, that was another real part of the show. And I think so many times, People say like, oh, this is not reality. Like, this is reality. And I think we showed that and, and it's hard to watch and it was hard to be in that moment. But I think it was real and, and we wanted to share Eric with the world. We really did. You can find out who Andy chooses when the finale airs July 28th. For ET Now, I'm Denny Directo.